Hello, hello, and hello! Welcome back to Colton Lamb. Hopefully, it's gonna be one of the final episodes. I did the Ocean's Bounty ritual. Somebody died, carved them up. And then I spent my talisman to get the glass cannon um, fleece. At this point, I don't understand why I'm still getting that. Like I said, nothing really worth noting. I'm gonna accelerate time just I still have that. Oh, we don't. I'll just do this. That should fill it up. It's time to go through the final door. The gateway. Court. Seriously? Hold on, I wonder. No. No, 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 no. Oh my god. <laughs> when I oh, when I passed by it was him that was hung up and then it was a different um it was someone else that was hung up like afterwards let's go for it I'll hit randomize six times those one. Except for this one. Let's do Let's do an honor. Might as well since I'm passing through. Now 
Now that we have 20 followers... So I relinquish you from your service to the Red Crown. Return it to me and embrace the end that awaits. With this last sacrifice of my most devoted follower, I will be freed. Finally, I will be free. Approach vessel and lay your life down at my feet. You have betrayed me, Lamb. You have shunned my gospel and claimed yourself a false idol. That crown is mine by divine right. You think to stand in the very face of death. Master, allow me. I will give this wretch a taste of your wrath. Whoa! Ow. and I am. I will take care of this Beastmaster. I will cut that crown from its head. easy. Ow. You think yourself victorious. You think yourself safe. Do not forget, you belong to me. Even after I have slaughtered you, your pain will not end. And you cannot escape me, even in death. Whoa. Ow.
Ow. believe me defeated did you think that to be all there was to wait what hold on did you believe me defeated did you think that to be all there was to be to a being such as I you thought yourself above a god well Whoa! You're corrupt, false idol. Your corruption has no doubt spread. My God. Starts me all the way back here. Hold on, I'm gonna start something. Okay. So, three endings are in this game. Wait, hold on. I am gonna do something real quick. What do you want? Do I not have a dish that will stop dissenters? Ah! Wait. Hold on. Yes! Hum, 
Alright, and he is where? Hey! Go eat that one. No way. It gave me the godly sword. <laughs> So it branches off right here to uh, one of the endings, and this leads to the other two. I think I have a much better chance, because I think I was only hit one during all of that. I was only hit once each time. That's awesome. Okay. <gasps> My husband is in there! Now, will it drop um, that heart that I should be getting? Oh, man, that is horrific, though. Okay, it did. So I do have access to hell.
Yes. Do no evil. You have supplanted me, a vessel no more, and set a crown-bearing deity, damned lamb. I'm at your mercy. Are you to be a vengeful false idol or a merciful coward? No longer can you blame your vile acts on me. And these are the other two endings. This is technically like that's supposed to be technically the truer ending, but you weak, styling, foul thing. Wait. You wait. Sacrifice reborn vessel. Ascend once more and take. I didn't even finish reading that. Thank you for playing, noble disciple. Please spread the good word near and far so that others may be blessed by the divine teachings of the mighty Lamb. <laughs> so. First off, I love the music for this. Um, like obviously there are like things that I would change, mostly like how you got like certain resources. Um, Please spare me. We'll never reach old age! I can't change their form. Natural skeptic, it's single. I love that. This is going to be so mean to do. No, I'll be much happier now. Uh, what can I give you? Holler will generate devotion faster. We'll harvest bonus resources. I'll have a sleep. I think that's more fitting. I, I don't want to keep him up all night. <laughs> May my fellow cult member rest in peace. 
I can look. and he's gonna be easy to spot. Oh, he's not in the mix. And just like what I've seen other people do. <laughs> and I'm gonna end it here. here so thank you guys so much for watching I had a fun time playing this well actually before I give my one thing I want to check on Oh, my husbands are talking. I mean, I suppose. I know I have to share the leader, but I have to admit I'm jealous. Hey, like I said, I smote you first. Oh, and might as well get you up to level 14 my highest level follower. Nope. Not that one. So... I do wish I actually, you know, went a bit faster and not just make several episodes of me going through Darkwood, of me doing piddly stuff around the cult. Um. And I know yesterday I sounded super, just super done with it. Um. It's more of, it, it's, it became a longer series than it needed to be. Yeah, and it was a bunch of bullcrap that was happening in the last two areas of enemies, like, hiding somewhere that I couldn't find, or... Oh, there's a hidden spawn that I have to trigger. Here, I was not a fan of that. I, I understand, like, surprise spawns, but... Like, it would have been... I think for that, it would have been cooler if, like, you leave, and if you, like, for people like me that backtrack a lot, like, they spawn when you go back into that room. I think that would have been much better. Um, I wish I focused more on loyalty, just, so, like, doing the ascension a lot more. Or, I wish I got that confession booth, like, a lot sooner. Um... And I honestly wish I didn't have as many graves. I don't even know how many I had. I'll, I'll probably leave a number somewhere off to the right here. Um, like about like how many graves I had. And I know I, I just got done with it because it, it was actually starting to mess up the performance. Um, of the game because I'd go by that. I'd go by my little graveyard, um, and then with, you know, 30 plus followers scurrying around doing, you know, either nothing or little to nothing, 
it it was a lot like to take on and it just um okay so that just says free updates um Overall, I do I did enjoy the game. I did enjoy the style of it. I was actually really glad it wasn't more of a bullet hell. Um But seeing like traces of it of it to like all the like all the shots you have to dodge, like there's no way to like to weave through them without doing the dodge. I, just, I did like that. I I do like the fact that the weapons are random. Every time, though having upgradable weapons would have been cool. But technically, they were, but but having like the same weapon because I thought it was going to be oh I'll have this like black sword from the beginning and all the way through. Um, I think it was like super fitting the fact that the godly sword, or which is by far my favorite weapon. I mean, because it has, like, a perfect average of attack speed and damage. And I think that was just perfect. Um, more of a, like, poetic ending in my part. Um. It was, like, it wasn't, like, it wasn't super difficult. Like, if I did the other fleeces, it would have been. Um. Because I know the one that do that does the damage multiplier, it increases like the longer I don't get hit. But in some situations, I was getting hit constantly, and so it just does not meld with me. Um. It's like the other ending, and then because I, the page that I went through, I'd like to check out the endings. The one that I that I saw that was I kind of declared like the better ending was to refuse sacrificing yourself and to kill the one who waits and pretty much to continue your own cycle and break like what you did break the old faith. Um. I loved the design. I loved the music. Music. I love the designs. I love the music to it. To it. How about I say that properly? Um. Curses. I wasn't really too fond of, especially the ones to where I had to, to where it would lob. lob. I believe that was like more like the Ickers. I wasn't a fan of the possession. I didn't really see a point of. Um. I will say, it's kind of broken to do... I, I probably could have survived if I did nothing but missionaries... Uh, missionaries farms and like maybe like a farm or two. Probably actually just one farm, so I could just like farm the, the ingredients that I need. Like... Um... And those off-rank statues. Statues, because those things were crazy i had tw what 12 like active i was going through them i have like over a thousand of like some resources and i didn't have to go get them um i'll say i easily hated the gauntlets because their gimmick is oh we it's you have to do the combo in order to get like maximum you know damage because it gets stronger per hit and I'm not too big of a fan of it in this setting. Um, you know, this was a really great game. Um, 
I might come back to it in the future to do a different run. To do ones that are more sac that deal with more sacrifices that because there are definitely some benefits that I slept on. I'm like for sure slept on. Um to like make better choices, make up, make the uh proper like upgrade choices sooner. Rather than like waiting rather than getting the ones that I think are absolutely useful. So like getting the offering statues, the shelters, um What was another one? Like, it's pretty much everything that's, like, on the left side of my cult by the end of it that I found more useful. Um. Rather than the, uh. Tabernacle, it, 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 it gives a temporary use, but not, like, a full. But not, like, a real good one. Um. Missionary is useful, as well to an extent, and that's why I I would have used that more if I had like a like an easier way to increase the loyalty. Um, well, the trap scarecrow is absolutely useless. It does it. It's just a way to get meat at your farm. Farm, and it doesn't even function as a scarecrow once it's activated. Um, the harvest totems didn't. They didn't. They didn't work that well. They have too small of a range. But I guess if you like arrange it right, you can get like max benefits. Um. I, I never even had to upgrade my lumber yard and whatnot because there was no point in it by the time I could get to it. Because yeah, I was just I was full up on resources. I was always harvesting resources. The composter was effective to a point. And if I had that like when I actually needed it, it would have been would have been better, but for how late in the game I got it in, it, it was there was no point to it. Except like to get that the dish that I needed. Um like even some of the rituals I never really did. I think I did the wedding more than anything. Oh and the ascension. The ascension is by far like the more useful ritual. Um Doing the graves had a benefit as well, to where it would increase faith every time someone went to it, so I could do a ritual that would um cause a decrease in faith, and well then while everyone's like grieving, it rebuilds it. So there's a functional use in that. Um well, I definitely could have played this a lot better better there's probably people that have done that that have played this that like either doing like using like a guitar from guitar hero or or something stupid or doing like a no damage run run or even a speed run or or something um the most functional thing i noticed is that it's better to keep it like at around like keep your cult at around 20 20 and no higher. Or because it's just... It, I, I did not have enough work... Like, to really give. It was just more of, like, to increase numbers as high as possible. As well. I could probably even... Pro I could possibly even break the game. Um... If I... Because there... So I noticed is that I could go back out whenever I went to the central door. Or I could probably go in and out and get a follower every time. I have more than enough money to do it. I could probably 
get back up into like the 30s or even hit 40s. Where he's like, for sure. Um, like with every game, like there's things that I would change. I change, but for what it is entirely, I'm fine with it. That and like that sounds lackluster, but I don't mean it like that. That I did enjoy the game with what it what was, and I may be pointing out faults, but but a fault is a fault, and like not every game is going to be absolutely perfect, like to a T. Um. But no, I love the way this game this game is, and yeah, I would put my own changes on it, but. I have no power over that. It's fine the way it is. Um, but in terms of future games, by now it is the 14th? This probably isn't going to... Like, September 14th. This probably isn't going to come out until, like, October. Uh, <laughs> with the way that I have things scheduled. So by now... Um, I'll be probably playing Kenna. Hopefully, the DLC of Tome has come out. Oh wait, no, wait, no. Cut anything that's related to a date, real quick. Um, I'll do that to market for myself. No, I. I'll say it again. I did like this game. I think I just got tired of it because of how long I made it take. What was it? I had 112 in game days, it is 62 deaths. That's 39 houses. And only 22 followers. Right, so again, that playtime is wrong because of... Because of stuff like like this. Story. I'd be doing nothing but talking. I'd be on my phone while playing it when I, wasn't, when I really shouldn't be. It's a habit that I need to break. Um, but I think most of this also... Because there was a couple episodes where I had... To where I ground up a bunch of followers... So I think some of the time can be contributed to that. I think for the... Um... I think for the full the ending, I like the game. I didn't like the last two rooms because of enemies hiding out somewhere. Where boss designs were amazing. I think the way that the game functions is amazing. It. I like the way that the game functions. I like the weapon system in it. Um. The well, side quests weren't, weren't actually that bad either. Are they not like the ones that the followers would get? If, except for the, any of them that had to deal with, like the fetch quests, like to get items specifically from. Uh, from, like, the Dark Woods and Nora. Um, I didn't have any that went through uh, Silk Cradle or Anchor Deep. I think Anchor Deep was possibly my favorite. My favorite area to go through. Mostly because I like that type of stuff. I love, like, deep sea themes. Um... Trying to get my words straight. I think the biggest part of it is that I liked Calamar. I like how he actually infuriated me <laughs> at a point because he made me. Because he caused such a grave plague throughout my cult, it made me retreat to go take care of it. Now I have two saves open, so I can uh, I can easily do. Another run. I can easily do another run or two, but that's probably not going to be for a, like a long while. Uh, probably a few months, if anything. Anything if I need filler. 
popular. It'll probably be more cult and lamb. I mean, who knows? There might be DLC that comes out that that like, increases replayability. Um, again, who knows? Who knows? There's several possibilities for this game. And so I don't. I'm already gonna have to cut a, a lot of meat off of this. <laughs> A lot of fat off of it, actually. But, in conclusion, thank you guys so much for watching. I think I had a fun time playing this, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, and I'll see you in the next video. Later!